I recently tweeted that uh, the atheist movement was going to move forward on common ground, not on discussions over our myriad differences as a group. And they got a, a response that there would always be infighting and that there would always be bickering, basically, in the movement and that that would never change. And really not what I was talking about because clearly there will always be a little bit of bickering uh, and a little bit of uh, uh, nastiness and a little bit of disagreement among the groups, both national and local. It's a, a, a convoluted scene, a very interesting education it's been for me to see how this whole thing works from grassroots level community groups to big national orgs and the pitfalls that uh, uh, lay in the way of anyone trying to row, trying to hoe this particular row uh, of activism. It's very bizarre. The herd of cats thing is real. It's, it's the reason that the American Humanist Association exists. They don't even want to be called atheists, and they have a little dogma there about their humanism. Uh, and uh, the fact that they are so huge and successful uh, speaks to the validity of that, uh, that approach. Um, so there's always going to be groups that aren't exactly the same, and they've actually found a way uh, in the last five, six, seven years, uh, since you know the time of the, the Reason Rally uh, number one and uh, sort of the, the the public surgence resurgence of the atheist movement, uh, they found ways to do uh, good work together and, and kind of put aside the differences. The differences are best saved for your individual meetings. All right, you know when you're when you're at your hum humanist meeting, you do your humanist stuff, but when you're at uh, the Reason Rally, you work with the other atheist and secular and humanist groups to uh, present a unified front as a, a voting block, as a, you know, a demographic that gives a shit about reason and about making decisions based on evidence and based on empirical fact, not based on woo or based on you praying in the morning and pretending that you got an answer or didn't get an answer and that not answer is an actual answer. Um, and the double talk and justifications that... Christians used uh, to excuse the fact that, um, you know, uh, they, uh, they actually make decisions based on nothing, based on uh, uh, the whimsy of uh, a 4,000-year-old fantasy. Um, but what I was really talking about was the incursion of the, the new right, uh, the alt-right on the atheist movement, and the uh, the talk recently that I've heard about pluralism in atheism uh, as though it were a religion, as though atheism were Christianity, where we need to exist with multiple sects of the same religion, or where one religion has to exist or coexist with many other religions. In America, we have a pluralistic society. We live with Christians and Jews and Muslims side by side, uh, and many other religions uh, as well as non-religious people. Uh, you know, that's pluralism in society. Atheism in itself cannot, in fact, have different brands because all atheism means is a lack of a belief in a deity or deities, okay? It's like saying there's two different kinds of a vacuum in space. There's the vacuum where it's, it's devoid of oxygen and then there's the vacuum where it's devoid of chlorine gas and the vacuum where it's devoid of methane gas. No, the lack of gases... And the lack of matter is a vacuum, all right? That's a vacuum. There's no, there aren't different kinds of vacuums, all right? There aren't different kinds of atheism. You're an atheist or you're not an atheist. Are right? these assholes who are out there plying the alt-right uh, 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 shock, talk, shock talk to get noticed, uh, they're, not, they're not part of the atheist movement. They happen to be atheists. And if they want to come to atheist conventions and be a part of the atheist movement on that level, yeah, that's great. But to throw uh, conventions purposely to exhibit what is uh, wrongly identified as pluralism within a movement that doesn't have different factions to, to be pluralized, it's, it's, it's atheism. And we are fighting a singular enemy, and that is really is the incursion of a theocracy on our great social democracy, our great government of the people, and our great separated church and state nation, the first in history, that again doesn't have a secular voice, even though we were the first great secular nation, there's no secular voice here. Uh, the, the, the lack of 
doctrine within atheism means that there aren't different kinds of atheism. There, that it, to say that there are different brands of atheism implies that there is some sort of uh, defining uh, position uh, besides the lack of a God. It's, it's a negative, it's not a positive. So, you know, we're, we're not the atheists who, who, who only don't believe in green gods. We also don't believe in purple gods. So there, there's not pluralism. To, to try to enforce that term on atheism just, just betrays your ignorance and your your willingness to uh, to try to sound fancy with big words when what you really mean is we want uh, to uh, hold debates and have discussions and have and point out uh, differences for people who enjoy those sorts of discussions and debates. Um, it doesn't do anything to move atheism forward, and it never will. To pretend that it's a different approach f- uh, to to moving atheism forward, different from humanism, or different from agnosticism, or different from uh, secularism is absurd. It's, it doesn't mean anything. Um, there is no benefit to the atheist movement by holding a debate over the fineries of New Testament theology. Uh, that's not relevant, okay? What we want is government, is religion out of government, out of our schools, and we want uh, actual science taught to our kids. So, uh, quit trying to pretend that uh, you know we can do this two different ways. We can't, and those of us who are interested in doing it as one solid wave are going to continue, and we're going to continue to work uh, towards our mutual goals because those are huge. And the little crappy things that make us different, they're not a they're not about atheism, and b they're not relevant to the movement. So if you want to indulge in that stuff, that's fine. But you're not part of the atheist movement. You're just gadflies who are trying to get attention with uh, hot button issues and provocative topics and shock jockery and, uh, and, and buffoonery, frankly, uh, for, for, uh, for ratings' sake. So I'm trying to pretend you're not what you are. You are what you're not.